Hello. Can you guys hear me? Hi guys. Hang on, let me turn the music off before I get copyrighted. Today, I really want to come on here and just provide a little update about my life at the moment because there's just been so many life changes that have happened since the beginning of 2024 and I'm still mind blown that it's about to be April. Like that is insane to me. I really feel like yesterday it was January. Like where did the time go? Yeah, I've just been <laughs> ripping and running and transitioning to you know this new lifestyle that i'm living i'm sure you all are wondering like what the heck happened like, you know i was living somewhere else i randomly moved i also took some time off of social media for a while i'm sure you guys have heard about the breakup that i went through yeah let's have a little girls chat because i miss you guys my two besties <laughs> i'm sure they can use a break from me and my drama my ex-boyfriend and i we did break up um we broke up in january and ever since then my life has been an actual roller coaster i'm not going to go into depth about what exactly happened quite yet i would eventually one day like to talk about it i do just want to um, be as transparent as possible with everyone and i feel like this is something that is important to talk about especially for women like me who you know are in similar situations and not to say that like anything crazy happened nothing crazy happened it was just it, it just wasn't working out anymore so after the breakup i was sort of homeless <laughs> no i'm gonna take that back i wasn't homeless i technically didn't have an apartment at the time because me and my ex we lived together um and then he stayed where he was i decided that it was time for me to pack my stuff and leave and so that's exactly what i did um and i moved it took about two to three weeks and one thing about it this happened so quickly guys like it was the breakup and then it was me literally like depressed and crying 24 7 like i don't even i barely even remember the two weeks that i was transitioning from my previous apartment to this apartment because i did a little bit of traveling for work i just i was out of it honestly like i was just i felt like i was in the twilight zone and so i took a little break from social media because i just wasn't going to be able to show up as my my full self at that time and with the career and the job that i do one downside is that the show keeps rolling whenever things happen like when bad things happen or something like something random happens out of my control in life it's hard for me to take a week or two long break from work the sponsor post they still have to go live the emails still come in it's not like i can request off or whatever um and take some time to myself and so that was really stressful also just having to work during that time but thank god i had my best friend shelby to she's also um my manager so she helped me so very much with you know everything um she helped organize like all my campaigns for me she um took over my inbox so i didn't really have to worry about responding to brands for those two weeks and that was an absolute blessing because i could you know obviously mourn the loss of my relationship but also i had time to start looking for a new place i ended up touring two places after I got back in town and literally signed the lease to this apartment within a week. I did not come to play and one thing about it like as a Capricorn and as just like a determined sometimes delusional girly like I really think that I can do anything. If it's meant to be it's gonna be and i just had so i had so much faith at the time i kind of had to have that much faith at the time and i'm just so grateful for god blessing me with this like it's absolutely insane i wake up every single morning just so grateful although i am still you know going through it some sometimes emotionally and like trying to 
just pick up the pieces i am so incredibly happy and i'm so incredibly content with where my life is right now and where it's going when i say i'm gonna do something i'm gonna do it like i don't care how much stress i have to go through to get there i don't care how many panic attacks i have to do i have to go through to get there i'm gonna make it happen especially like if i if i feel like i don't have any other choice during that time i felt like i had no other choice but to just make it happen and i made it happen in less than a week girl like even my friends and my family, they were like, wow, like we did not expect you to find an apartment that quickly. But I wasn't playing around. <laughs> um, I only toured two apartment complexes. And by the way, I'm still in Atlanta. I'm sure you guys know if you follow me on um, TikTok and Instagram, but I'm still in Atlanta. I toured two apartments and instantly fell in love with this one. They gave me the application. They even waived the application like right after the tour i filed i got a call back within like three to four days and i was literally in the apartment keys in my hand the next day it was an incredible turnaround for me i hired movers this time i moved in you guys saw the whole process of me moving in and you know somewhat getting settled in and right now it's been going on two months since i've been in my new apartment and lord have mercy it has been it's been both so exciting yet terrifying this is the first time i have ever ever lived by myself i lived with my family obviously when i went to college i had a roommate all the time um whenever i graduated college I moved in with my boyfriend, then we moved to Atlanta together. And so I have I've never been on my own, like solo dolo, living by myself before. And it is amazing, but it's also really, really scary. And not because I'm by myself, like I'm not afraid of that, because the taser going to tase okay and the pepper spray be pepper spraying i keep that thing on me every girl should because people getting punched girls are getting punched on the side of the street that's insane get your tasers besties i still haven't completely settled in yet i have so much random stuff all over the place like it doesn't make any sense my vanity is a mess um there's like tons of just random stuff on the ground, on the floor, in my bedroom. The closet is a disaster still. I am at a place now where I'm just, I'm so ready to just catch back up with like my life, if that makes sense. Because I feel like I was on a pause for a good month. Like it took me a while to like not be paralyzed in just like sadness. I definitely fell off of so many things like my workout routine, my eating habits, um, just walking and exercise in, in general, like my work, content, like YouTube, like everything was just so, so different, like so quickly. And so it took me a while to adjust. But girl, don't get it twisted because as soon as I got over it i got over it and i got over it pretty quickly i would say because we'll talk about that in another video that's not the time um i'm not gonna say the because because then i would have to you know explain the situation and we ain't got time for that and i also just no and i obviously still do have my days like last night some bs happened and I, w I went through it last night but I will say it's not typical that I have those days anymore and I'm just so grateful for that I just want to move past it like I, I'm just so excited for what God has planned for me in the future and just like moving forward and I'm just so I'm just so ready to move on with my life and I know that like I did everything I could in the situation and it just simply was not meant to be and i have come to terms with that and now i'm just trying to like get back on my on my 
on my hot girl stuff baby because hot girl summer is coming promptly and we are about to have the summer of our lives like this is the first summer I've been single in how long baby I'm, I'm going I'm getting on yachts I'm traveling I'm getting flown out we are really about to have a good good summer and I just don't want to stay like a hermit and stay just like sad and once I do have those feelings and those, those emotions come up every once in a while I find that getting back into my routines is helpful and so that's really like what I've been on right now like I've just been trying to get back into the gym I've been trying to fix my sleep schedule I've been trying to eat better like I'm just trying to become that healthy version of Tia again the one that was like going to the gym every other day going to Pilates like doing it up waking up early doing her her weekly face masks like I miss that Tia one thing there's there's so much that I love about living alone but one of the biggest things is that I can really figure out who I am like by myself and that is the coolest thing ever because I can exist in my element in my zone by myself like yes I have my dog but other than that baby it's just me like if I if I want pizza I'm gonna get pizza if I want to watch a, a scary movie at 2 a.m I'm gonna watch a scary movie at 2 a.m and probably regret it because I'm gonna be up all night but if I wanna if I wanna buy a plane ticket to New York next week I can do that probably not a smart idea especially with tax season coming up as a self-employed girly but I could I don't have anyone to answer to and it's amazing it's 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 the best feeling ever like I just feel so free I don't even have a boss like it's just me <laughs> And the best way I can describe it is just like a, a bubble just floating. And I say this all the time to my friends and they're like, you're crazy. But I really do. I feel just like a, do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind wanting to start again? That's, that's literally how I feel. Katy girl, Katy Perry babes, I get you. I get it. That's exactly how I feel. But I'm also just really happy. The losses, the gains, I'm, I'm grateful for it. And I definitely came out a better person. I can already feel myself becoming that best version of myself. And I just feel like I've never been more confident in my life. Like, although it's been a rough ride, it just like, it's made me so much stronger. Like, I really forget sometimes how much grit I have. Like, your girl is strong. I feel like that's kind of it. I've had some really exciting things happen with work and whatnot, but other than that, like, I'm just trying to get get back right, y'all. Trying to get back right. And I'm getting there. We're getting there. I feel like I'm creating my dream life. I feel like everything happened for a reason, and I'm a better person because of it. It's so funny to me because every single time I go through something and I I have to take like a I have to take a scary leap of faith, the outcome is always so much better than what it was before, always. And I always think about the um, the meme of Jesus in front of the little girl. The little girl had a teddy bear and Jesus was like, "Let me, can I have your teddy bear?" And the little girl was like, no, this is my teddy bear. But little did she know that Jesus had a bigger teddy bear for her behind his back. That is just always what I think about. And that meme is, is so, so true because it'll always work out for the better. If it's meant to be, it'll be. If it's not meant to be, it won't. But regardless, it's gonna it's gonna be the best the best route for you and you're gonna come out on top as long as you follow you know your purpose listen to your intuition that is huge i kind of want to make a youtube video solely about intuition girl i've i've felt it strongly <laughs> over the past year like real strong my female intuition she that is one powerful mofo that is pretty much it i 
I'm so happy that I was able to, you know, sit and finally talk to you guys about everything. I'm so excited to bring you all on this journey. With it's it's going to be amazing. I, I feel it. Like, I just, I just know that I'm on the right path. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. I don't know if someone else is going through similar situations that I am, but just know that everything is going to work out. It's going to be okay. I know you're scared. I know you're scared to take that leap. I know you're scared to let go. But baby, let go go because I promise you it's gonna turn out so much better than you ever expected so much better if you thought you're living good right now wait until you let that thing go that's been holding you down or that situation that's been stressing you out and that that thing that you know in your your soul is not for you wait until you let all of that go like you, you have no idea. You have no idea. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have been so supportive and so kind to me um, these past couple of months. And I'm just, I'm so grateful for the platform that I've been able to build and just the amazing supporters that have been following me, whether you've been following me for the beginning of my journey or since last week, like I'm just so grateful for you and I, I literally could not be doing what I'm doing. I would literally not be here if it weren't for you guys. So I love you all so much. Again, let me know if you have any comments or questions. Leave them in the comments. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. And I will talk to you guys later. Mwah. Bye guys.